probably the only time we get together like this other than reunion is funerals and reunions. <laughs> so I say that reunions are more fun. Yeah. <laughs> but when I was growing up, we would go to either one because we knew there'd be food there. <laughs> I mean, being, being, being bad this, we respond to every tragedy in life with food. Yeah. I mean, a covered dish. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll knock on somebody's front door and go, uh, sorry to hear about your son-in-law, here's some baked beans. <laughs> we, we, we would come in for a minute, but you know, Walmart closes at 12. <laughs> and, and if I'm going to that funeral, I need me something real nice to wear. <laughs> Matter of fact, I say this now, as a grown man, I'm embarrassed about this, but as a little kid, me and my brother, real little, grew up way out in the country, real poor. As children, we used to actually hope somebody would die so we could eat. Oh. <laughs> It'd be like, uh, I, I, sm I smell chicken, somebody must be dead. You know? oh. <laughs> and, and you folks know that, you know this, and you, did you ever notice that we, that we would spend more time talking about the food and who brought which dish, they were with the guy that, that, that passed away. I mean, this poor soul has not even, hasn't even been buried yet. But all the conversation is going like this. Somebody go, uh, well, I see Elizabeth brought that macaroni salad. I knew she'd do that. I guarantee you one thing. If it had been somebody on her side of the family, <laughs> she'd, have, she'd have brought some kind of meat. <laughs> and, then, and they'll always tell the story about how good the food was at the last funeral. But when you come to, <laughs> and there's always, whether it be a reunion when people get together, whether it be a funeral, or whether it be somebody's birthday, when people get together, and there's always food. And the holidays were not that long ago. And you see it at Christmas, you see it at Thanksgiving. But you know where there's food and there's people, there's always going to be one or two that eats the most. <laughs> and everybody knows they eat the most. It's either our aunt, our cousin, maybe our grandmother. If you look at that, your grandmother's still with you. The heavy lady, let's just say heavy. <laughs> and I know I can do this material because I come from a long line of heavy people. My whole family can carry their own shade with them. I mean, <laughs> but you know the one I'm talking about. Stands about four foot eight. You know, weighs about three hundred. You know. You gonna keep talking about food till I'm gonna wonder where it is. <laughs> well, <laughs> and they always do this, and I always say this too. I just poke fun at their mannerisms, the way they talk, and all my aunts were this way, all overweight. And God bless them, they all lived to be way up in the eighties. So. Whatever they were eating, everything was pretty good for them. <laughs> but they'll get, they always the last one up from the table. Always the last one up from the table. And they would say things like this. They'd go, uh, whew. <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> I don't know why in the world my feet hurt like they do. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm thinking, you know, I'll take a stab at it. You know, but, <laughs> but they'll get from the table. My aunt, I always change the name because my cousins are still living and they're tougher than I am. But I had an aunt, Margaret. She was always the last one up on the table. Everybody else is done. They're in the living room and she's still in the kitchen. But she would yell in there, I'm through eating. I'm just going to get a biscuit and sop this up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, often, I often say sometimes, that could be what's wrong with America today. A whole generation of Americans who've never heard the expression, yeah. get a biscuit and sop it up, you know. <laughs> but eventually she'd get into the living room, eventually, and she would just flop down in the first chair she came to. As a kid looking up, it always looked like it was in slow motion done. Like, oh my God, she's gonna break that chair. Cause she would come down with full force, like, whoo! I ate more than I planned to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why meatloaf lays on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it's right there, I won't go no further. 
I, I, I wish I'd have brought my guys pills. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I didn't know you put onion in your meatloaf. Lord knows I can't eat cooked onion. <laughs> and here's what always got me, Bill. I think starting tomorrow, I'm going to go on some kind of a diet. <laughs> well, no, I can't. Tomorrow we're going to Cracker Barrel tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for enjoying this clip with us. Don't forget, you can see full episodes of some of your favorite shows at www.countryroadtv.com.